Yeah. <laughs> wow, the office got super quiet. <laughs> you guys are amazing. How's everyone today? Come on, we can do better than that. What's happening? Well, we finally hit it. October is upon us. Yes. Halloween, spooks and goblins. Well, I definitely appreciate you all being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We got a lot of great stuff uh, for today's uh, team meeting. So, you guys ready? Yeah. Come on. Are you guys? You know how we do it here at the uh, South Bay office. Let's go in. Uh, hey, look, where's our mission? <laughs> I think uh, Matt is uh, jumping the gun. There we go. One second. Let me just go ahead and clear this. And I apologize. I know we had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties with the uh, with the computer uh, technology. You got to love it, right? Mm -hmm. So our, our mission is to provide agents with a place where they will be empowered, trained, motivated to experience growth, wealth, and a legacy that allows their life uh, live their lives uh, best life possible. Our beliefs, when the values of your own company align with your own beliefs, you know you found your professional home. And our vision to achieve amazing professionals and personal development so that KW South Bay remains the agency of choice. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. All right, let's continue. Next slide, please. All right, look at all the October birthdays. If you see uh, your name up here, please stand up and wish you a wonderful, happy, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at the list of people here. You know, this will take the whole entire meeting if I say all the names. So, happy birthday to all of the October uh, agents. This is awesome. And I like the uh, Star Wars theme as well. That's pretty cool. So, awesome. All right, Matt, next slide, please. Uh, all right, we have our KW anniversary. Look at the list of people. You know, Erica Hill's up there. Steve Gottlieb. All right. How many years, uh, Mr. Steve? 20 oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Well, we appreciate you for being part of this amazing organization and, and part of the office. So, again, if you're up on this uh, list, thank you, you know, for aligning yourself and being part of this amazing South Bay office. So, Thank you. All right, let's continue. Next slide. All right. Many, if you want to come up here as well, we have some awesome yeah. announcements. Yeah. So, uh, Esco is not new to you, and uh, to most of you, Maria is not new to you. But with that being said, we're very proud and excited to uh, make this uh, this change, this uh, you know, moving up, where number one, we uh, launched our Pacific Ocean escrow branch. Uh, this is our third branch, so it's right now here in the South Bay, upstairs. So give it to Pacific Ocean escrow. Um, our other two branches are one in the Long Beach office, or next to the Long Beach office, uh, uh, the coastal office, and then up in the valley, in the Calabasas office. Um, and uh, the Pacific Ocean, it's a DFPI escrow company. It used to be uh, DBO used to be, or you know, what we say, independent escrow company. Um, Five dollar uh, Starbucks gift card. If you know what DFPI stands for, yeah, I know. Financial. <laughs> Financial. Information. And you know, innovation. innovation. Okay. So give it to five. Five dollar. You brought them to that. There's an actual crowd. Um, but what it means is just to simplify the language, it's it's a much higher regulated um, and um, a company that, that it's being held in higher standards, pretty much like any financial institution in, in this state, like banks, etc. So it's not uh, just an in-house, right? It doesn't fall only under the broker. Uh, of records um, responsibility, it's on a state level, okay? And uh, better protection, better experience, better services, better insurance. And Pacific can also um, cater and service agents outside of Keller Williams as well, okay? With that being said, um, I'm gonna introduce and reintroduce, uh, we have uh, Lisa, uh, um, 40 years, uh, in the in the business about 
More or less? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> she, she only looks much younger than that. Uh, she thought was, she was about, what, 10, 12? Yeah. <laughs> you know and it was legal back then to start that early. And um, we, we were very fortunate to be able to bring uh, Lisa over here. Uh, she used to um, run the uh, concierge school, right, in, in uh, Manhattan Beach? Manhattan Beach for many, many years. Uh, and uh, now we have uh, Lisa to give it to yourself. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you need anything or have any questions. Um... <laughs> She's here. Well, she, she right now she's the branch manager and a senior officer. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure that uh, if I remember correctly, that both you and Maria started around the same time. Yeah. Yes, we've actually known each other for about thirty years. So yeah. yeah. Sit down and worked with each other a long time ago. So yeah, we're excited to work together again. Yeah. We maintained our friendship through all those years, and now yeah. we're back together. That's so we're back together. Yeah. 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 So let us let us know. Yeah. And you know Maria. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. So give it to Maria. Yeah. Now we're sitting upstairs, right? So uh, use the stairs or the elevator, whatever uh, is more comfortable. Maria? We, and we appreciate the support that we have for us for us out there. We also appreciate the support that we are now going to have from you for independent escrow up here. So, yes, feel free to come upstairs, see us, uh, approach us, ask me a question, me a question. Anything that we can do to help you uh, with your real estate transaction, just let us know. Okay. And uh, in about a week or so, uh, we're going to finish the mini construction over here on the uh, main hall. We're building, uh, adding four more offices. Oh. So once we're going to finish that, we're going to schedule out a date in about, you know, give or take three, four weeks out. We're going to have a little uh, happy hour upstairs, like a launch party for the uh, South Bay branch. Uh, and you know, a little sushi and some, some drinks and what have you. So we can invite uh, all of you. But very excited to have you. Thank, Thank you for everything that you did for us. Hey guys, if you haven't been upstairs, you got to go upstairs and check it out. I mean, it's revamped what you saw before and what it looks like today. It's awesome up there. And just go up there and introduce yourself. You know, these amazing. Uh, professionals and been in the industry for a very long time are here to help and serve your clients. Okay. And, you know, with the combined experience that I'm going to say 80 years of experience, <laughs> you know, that's, that's a lot of experience uh, behind you protecting your clients. So thank you ladies. Welcome. And we're super excited about the new uh, relaunch of the escrow uh, division. So we're super stoked about it as well. So thank you. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue. Next slide, please. All right, uh, who's excited about Halloween? Uh, Come on. This is one of our biggest events. Halloween Office Door Contests. All right, so if you have an office, or if you want to help one of the uh, fellow colleagues of you decorate my office, <laughs> guess what? I already have a plan. Uh -huh. So by next week, my office is going to be something special. All I'm not gonna say it is, but don't freak out, okay? and don't bring don't bring the priest. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna have some good time. So again, and and I'll get with you, Steve, in a minute. You know, if you're interested, uh, it's uh, decorating your your office, your window, your door. However, uh, the winner will be announced at the uh, Halloween party. Okay, and you must, and I repeat, you must be present to win the uh, prize. Yes, Steve. I have a door, and I am so uncreative, so I am willing to be able to sublet my door. <laughs> okay, and I will even honor whatever prize you may win. Okay. Bring your best. Be creative, right? Think outside the box, but be spooky and scary, right? Is it and downstairs it a, office only? Or it's office upstairs as well. Yeah. You know, I know the staff will be uh, going upstairs, and if you want to decorate upstairs, too, by all means. You know, we have upstairs as well. And that includes escrow, too, ladies. So uh, everyone is uh, uh, able to participate uh, part of this contest. Okay? Any questions regarding this? All right, let's continue. Next slide, please. All right, I'm super excited as well. I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of activities going on. So our chili cook-off next Wednesday, October 9th. Who's committed to come? 
you know stuff and you know because it's a, a competition uh public you know it gives us a perspective of the different types of chili you guys have yesterday i was at the uh, long beach uh office and they had some amazing chilies they had turkey uh, uh vegan they had beef um i think they even had a chicken all of them were good you know but you got to pick one you got to pick two and you've got to pick three so there is a competition as well on that so uh, other items that you can bring is the uh, baked potatoes, cornbread, salads, chips, tacos. Guess what I'm bringing? Uh, the plates. Desserts. Guess, guess what I'm bringing? Desserts. 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 with chili. Oh, cheese. Cornbreads. Onions. 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 with chili? Tequila. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita. Before me, I'll bring uh, the uh, hot dogs for the uh, chili uh, chili hot dogs. So I might just still bring a, a potluck of uh, chili as well, too. So, but again, we love for all of you. And you know what, Matt, I forgot my clipboard. Can I have uh, Stephanie oh, yeah. I got a clipboard, too, please? Okay, we'll do. We, uh, we need participation. So I encourage you, you know how this office is, right? It's all about the culture. Let's uh, unite together and let's uh, make it a, a, a meaningful event, all right? So who would like to participate and bring the dish? It doesn't have to be the uh, chili, but yeah, we're going to pass out of the uh, list. Just put whatever you want to bring, okay? That'll help with the with the uh, cook-off and more so just the synergy of uh, all of you guys as well. So, okay, any questions regarding this? And please uh, let us know and email Natalie as well, okay, if you're going to bring a dish so we can also keep track. But we also have a clipboard with a list of uh, things that we also would love for you to bring as well. Okay. All right, now let's get to the next slide. All right, how many people have uh, heard what's going on back east? Okay, so I was on the uh, growth call this uh, Monday and uh, they were talking about you know, devastation. You know, we, we've had a lot of KW, KW agents um, who have suffered because of uh, Hurricane uh, Helen. So part of what KW cares is really giving back to, to our, our communities and to our people, you know, during this uh, difficult time. <clears throat> right now, the total assistance that KW care, and this is international, uh, over $60 million, okay? $63 million in total assistance since 2000, uh, 2003. Um, and the total number of grants awarded was $7 million, and that was back in uh, 2003. So if you have family, friends, or people that you know that were uh, hit heavily because of uh, Hurricane uh, Helen, this is a great opportunity to give back. You know, they've uh, provided generators, um, I, I remember back in 20, 2017, uh, I, I ended up going to Austin for Mega Camp, but it was not called Mega Camp. It was actually called Mega Relief. And we ended up going to Austin, Texas, and then we had literally hundreds of buses uh, uh, taking us all the way to Houston. We were, dry, we were driving for about three hours, and then we're hitting, you know, neighborhoods and debunking homes. Basically, water was halfway up to the uh, top, but that just shows the character of who we are as KW Associates, you know, and the the importance of, you know, helping one another. It was so, such a tragic, but it was also a humbling experience for me to witness, you know, how many agents uh, stepped up and were just helping people. And we were literally pulling furniture Photos. I mean, it's the stuff that is like, oh my God, you know, this can happen to any of us, right? Now, we don't really have hurricanes here, but what did we have here? Earthquakes. Earthquakes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And those are pretty severe. Thank goodness we haven't had one yeah. that big, but, you know, you just never know. So, this is a great opportunity to really just get back and the importance of who we are as a company, right? So, if you could do a small donation, you know, we'd really appreciate you know, the, the office and more so, you know, the people that have been, you know, impacted by this, uh, by this storm. 
Can we contact uh, Natalie or? Yeah, yeah, we can collect the donations and then we will definitely send them out to uh, KW Cares as well. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Next slide. Now we have our uh, guest speaker and also our food sponsor, Edward. Come up here, Edward. Here's the homes.com. I had a friendly opportunity to talk to them just before the uh, team meeting. And guess what? They have some phenomenal stuff that are going to impress you. So without further ado, gentlemen, thank you so much. Come on up. Thank you. All. Thank you yeah. Yes, absolutely, my man. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how do I, maybe we can get many in here to connect. So you want a mirror? Uh, we can do it that way. What HDMI? Maybe. So while we figure out okay. the technical aspect, if you guys don't mind, I'll just start to talk to you a little bit about. Um, if he joins his Zoom and you give him um, access. Okay. So what if we uh, jump you on Zoom real quick? Okay. Go ahead and continue. Yeah. Talking. So, uh, just so we. Sorry, I wish we would have. Too much time. I wanted to just kind of give sure, you a go. quick introduction of what we're going to be discussing about. What we're going to be talking about is our new residential platform, TalkHomes.com, which has been around soon, for some so time. We his presentation. We our group purchased it about three years ago, oh, oh, sure. and then it completely yes. revamped by the company. Sorry. We literally only kept one thing: the name Homes.com. Yeah. We got rid of everything else. No, they didn't so if you were a subscriber of Homes and for Homes in the past, that company no longer Sorry, exists. Now there's a new not. company, and it's basically so, a residential platform to help promote agents, their listings, and help them win more um, buyers and sellers. And that's what we're going to be talking to you guys about. And there's something really cool about what we're doing. And here it is. I don't, it follows the model of philosophy that your listing, your lead. So if you have a listing, we will put it on homes.com because we pick them up from the MLS and I'll have your contact information on it. Not someone else and not a random box that says click here and some random person will call you back who doesn't know anything about the home. So that's what we're trying to do, right? And this is the way the industry okay. was before the lead diversion companies came out. So they call themselves real estate portals, but they're not. What they are, are a lead diversion program. The consumer goes on there and clicks, I want to contact someone. And then they have no idea who's going to call them. Because what these companies do is they'll sell that lead. Sometimes they sell it based on the zip code. Sometimes they sell it based on the actual lead. They've changed their program over the years. So we have never yeah. sold leads. We've been at this since 1987 uh, under the brands that you might know, CoStar, Apartments.com, LoopNet. We don't sell leads. We also don't divert leads. So if it's your listing, it's going to have your information and the lead will come to you. Also, we will not display an agent in a particular area unless they've done a deal there or have a listing. So you can't come and pay us and say, I want to appear in the Beverly Hills search result. Not going to happen. Yeah. Or vice versa. They can't come from Beverly Hills and say, I want to appear in Torrance. You can only appear if you've actually done a deal uh, in the last five years in that area or you have an active listing. How are we doing? Good luck. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Perfect. This is not new. This is the way it used to be before these internet portals came out. This is how it is in the rest of the world. This is how it is on the commercial side. So if any of you have ever put anything on LoopNet, it's the same model. Okay? Uh, so that's a little brief intro. Um, we're excited because it is disruptive. It's changing the industry. And uh, it seems to be ready. So yeah. I'll hand it back over, and I will interrupt him from time to time. Thank you, Arya. Uh, so... My name is Edward Demange. I'm with Homes.com. It's a co-star group company. And to Aryan, um, as he just mentioned, our goal is to help you win more listings. That's the focus, uh, especially with all the NAR changes. Um, so we're looking to be a partner with you, right? We want to um, become your digital marketing partner. So this is the agenda. So, okay. This is the agenda. We're gonna address the problem, right? The homes.com philosophy, our co-star model for success, 
the fact that we built the best site, uh, our marketing campaign, the audience, and then the membership advantage if you decide to become a member. And then of course, how we help you win more listings. So let's start with the problem. So the problem, right? We know 100% of home shoppers shop online. 52% actually find their own home searching online, right? You guys work very hard to get listings. Um, so our goal is to make the internet work for you versus some of our competitors, which are lead diversion websites, right? So you get a listing, right? It's basically your sign on the internet. And they basically come and put request tour or contact agent on your sign that you work so hard for. Um, so our philosophy really is your listing, your lead, right? We want to connect you direct. We want to connect you directly with consumers that search, right? We're not here to charge you for leads. We're trying to grow traffic organically. So Ed, if you don't mind just yep. highlight sure. what he said. The problem is not that home buyers start their shopping online. That's not the problem, right? The problem is what happens next is there's a disconnect from the time you start shopping online till you go actually buy the home. And the disconnect is you don't even know who you're talking to most of the time, unless you've already picked an agent, right? That's what we're trying to solve. That's what we're trying to fix. And we're trying to do it in this way, letting the consumer be in power, let them choose who they want to work with. Mm -hmm. So I'll, in addition to winning more listings, we're connecting you with consumers. Right. If we were to just look at this, which one is misleading and which one is more honest? Like, right? if you're a consumer, you want to be connected directly to Ann, not hit contact agent and have like 12, 15 different agents that have paid for the lead. No shame if that's what you're doing, right? It's just from a consumer standpoint, right? I want, if I'm interested in a house, I want to speak to the actual listing agent that's listing that house, that knows the area and is an expert in the area. Um, and I think there's nothing more misleading than having a consumer think that they're scheduling a tour with the actual listing agent, but it's not the actual listing agent. So for those of you that like to, or that say focuses on buyers, right? We have added all the same functionality in the MLS. So all of you have a dashboard, right? We have what we call your buyer, your business. You're working hard, you're out networking, you're meeting buyers, right? The last thing we want is for your clients that have purchased a home from you or maybe considering to purchase a home from you or have you represent them to be poached by other agents. So here's how this works. So for those of you that focus on buyer agency, right, you make a connection on homes.com. Once you do that, your information will replace the listing agent because of that connection, because that's your client. And it'll say, Lisa Miller, your agent. Keller Williams South Bay, right? So it doesn't matter how many homes that they look at, they're still seeing you, right? So, so if they have questions, they're reaching this, out to you. Because uh, I see your question already. Let me just repeat it, make sure, because we literally said the opposite of what I just said two minutes ago. <laughs> so let me say it one more time. If it's your listing, it's your lead. However, I'm the agent and it's my listing. He's the buyer. He decides that he wants to work with this agent. If they agree to that, by the way, there's no forms, there's no contracts. You just send them a link. The agent sends them a link. The, the like buyer says test. connect. Once that happens, then every listing that the consumer clicks on will have that agent's contact information on it because the consumer chose that, right? We didn't. Postar didn't. Homes didn't, right? No one paid us for it. The consumer chose it. So that's the power of this thing. It is your listing, your lead, unless the consumer says, I want to work with a different agent. And then if they do that, it allows the buyer agent to take over the MLS. Every listing on the MLS is going to have their name on it. So I see two questions and I'll take it now. That one. Okay. okay and then you. So, to be clear. So if you change agents, huh? so what's going to happen to... You yeah. go to the app and you just like, disconnect, disconnect the relationship. Okay, sorry, my didn't Yeah, kind so, of like how you know LinkedIn connections work. Or I will say, in modern work. terms, you just unfollow, unfollow. right? <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, but the, it's very powerful. <laughs> you could be an agent. I'll come to you in a sec. You couldn't be an agent right now with absolutely no listings, but you're w working with several buyers, potential buyers, and you could take over the MLS on homes.com. <laughs> go ahead. If we send a client to a 
you say a lead diversion? If we send the Zillow red fence, yeah, we, we, send, we send a client there, we run the risk of them 100% finding another agent. If we send them through our homes.com app, then they're only going to see you. I think of what that does for your marketing and for your exposure, right? Everything they touch has your name, your picture, your phone number, <laughs> your logo, your branding on it. Mm -hmm. You're, you got it, absolutely one more over here. Just in terms of who does the clicking to unfollow, that can happen agent? either way. Either way. Mm -hmm. either way, you can do it as the agent, the consumer could do it. Whoever does it, the other person gets a notification and says, Hey, this person decided this guy. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Yep. <clears throat> so, what does that we'll look like? Going, but please keep it interactive. If you have questions, just raise your hand. We'll take it now. We don't have to wait till then. Yeah. So what that looks like today, as I mentioned, you can see your clients in real time. So every agent has a dashboard. So for instance, you can see when they last logged in, you can see who's currently searching. In this example, Alicia is currently searching. So similar to the MLS, right? If you know your client is searching and you understand their criteria, you can then make recommendations to Alicia while she's searching. So you can say, oh, she's searching. What about this one, this one, and this one? and then send that over to Alicia. And then Alicia will get that in her dashboard or be notified in the app if she's using the app. And then she can easily just make comments, like, dislike, and you're seeing that in real time. So can we uh, connect it to our current dashboard through KW if we get a membership? No, 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 no. Okay. at least not yet. Yeah, and, and yeah, that, that's a good way to say it, at least not yet. Yeah. This in, in itself is kind of like a CRM tool. Client relationship management tool like Salesforce. Uh, you'll be able to put notes in there. You can see analytics on how, what they favorited, what they clicked on, what they searched. Uh, all of that will reside on the dashboard. So if they actually do, if you do all the notes on that and you no longer have that service, it goes with that service, correct? Yeah. What, what do you mean, which service? So let's say we have KW Connect and we have a way to, to to follow all that stuff. So since you can't connect it, you don't really have a way of updating it. So you have to look in two different areas. Correct. Like if someone's here at KW, they look at their KW and they would also have this membership. But if let's say they decided not to do this membership, do we have access to that yes. old information? All every person who has a listing on the MLS or has closed the deal in the last again, it was like five five years. Five years is currently a non-member on homes.com and has access to the dashboard. Okay. So if anybody in this room right now has an action listing or is gonna deal in the last five, guess what? You're a non-member and you have access to this dashboard for free, you don't charge. Mm -hmm. You just need to sign in, claim your profile if you haven't, check to see if you have any leads, maybe update your photo, update your bio and go from there. And okay. again, we'll talk about the differences between non-members and members during this presentation. Mm -hmm. All right, so just about CoStar, right? I'm sure some of you know who we are, right? We're publicly traded S&P 500, 40 years in the business. The one um, thing that all of these different marketplaces have in common, we connect our clients directly with the listing agent. So whether you have a commercial listing or if you're a renter searching for an apartment, you're being connected to the property manager or the listing agent. So the same concept for homes.com, we're connecting consumers directly with you. And one other thing about those brands that they have in common, they're all either number one or number two in their own industry. So CoStar is number one for commercial real estate research. Lupin is number one as a marketplace. 10X is the number one for auction. And Apartments is number one for apartments and so on and so forth. Currently, Homes is number two. And we say this to you because we've done this before, right? When we took over apartments, I think it was like number five. Yeah. You guys remember where people went to find rentals back then, about 10 years ago? Yeah. Where? It wasn't apartments. West side rental side. We bought that one too, but that was regional, national, big national. It was free. It's still around. Right. Thank you. Who said it? It's rare I get that one. Yes, it was Craigslist. That's literally was the competition. I remember the books. Yeah. It was it the penny saver? Now you know. You go free internet. Yeah, that go way back. I made you my. You know what? My mom actually worked for the penny saver. Did she really? She really did. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, bottom line is, we're a reputable company, right? We have the experience, we have the know-how, we have the 
the drive to make sure, well, to continue working to become the number one platform and just change what was done to this industry, which a lot of you have experienced, right? So we built the best site, um, right? Connecting you directly with the listing agent. We have proprietary neighborhood content. So for all of your listings, if you searched on homes.com, you will see we have, um, they didn't catch up to me. Yeah, a yeah. little lag behind the. Yeah. But to my point, right? If you have a listing on homes.com, we have proprietary neighborhood content, right? Our goal there is to really educate the consumer on why. Like why choose Torrance or Hawthorne or Hampton Park? What, what do people do? for fun, like what do they die? Like we're trying to sell the sense of community to make that consume, to make your job easier, right? To help that consumer reach a buying decision faster. And that's why our model is like, we've done your homework because we've done so much research and homework for the consumer that literally all they have to do is just reach out to you and take a tour and buy. Um, so we've added in, I'll let it catch up. We've added all these different filters. It is literally the most agent-friendly website, um, consumer-friendly as well. A lot of agents that I know use this when their clients have questions or when trying to find the right home with all these different filters. Uh, I have a quick like two-minute video just to bring it all together to give you some different examples of how consumers and agents use our platform. So I'll let it catch up, I guess. Or is it muted? Oh, how do we just get the volume? Oh, it was good enough. Oh, was it? But it's going to have to We're Check out the videos that we have. This, 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 all, this, this is all, all our own content. It's all proprietary. And it's really, really cool if you're trying to explain a particular neighborhood to someone because there's so much data there in terms of the schools and the parks and you know noise factor, crime factor, and everything else that goes with mm -hmm. oh, So I had a video, but, yeah. but we'll just move past the video. Um, so in a nutshell, right, we've built the best site. Uh, now I'm going to talk about our marketing campaign. I mean, has everyone seen a commercial or is yeah, there people? I love your commercials. Yeah, that's really Thank you. The helicopter. Thank yeah. That's the old one? Yeah. That's an old one. Yeah. We've released a new one um, for the Emmys. I don't know if anyone uh, watched the Emmys with the picture frame that were just the best website for searching for homes. So I'll play that at the end. What about um, ads? Has anybody seen the ads when you go like on to read an article on your phone or... You know, different websites. Have you seen those ads too? So, really, we're investing a billion dollars just into marketing to beat Zillow, right? To drive traffic to the site. So, our goal is really to reach every single household. So, I would be shocked if you guys haven't seen a commercial yet because we're everywhere, literally. Uh, and we're doing everything to ensure consumers know about our brand and that we're the most, um, we're the best platform to find a home and connecting you directly with the listing agent, which our competitors are not. So we covered Super Bowl this year. We're covering Super Bowl next year. Um, every, I mean, literally every hit show, every high profile sporting event. The Emmys, we just had a commercial doing the Emmys. Um, it's just catching on. Yeah. 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 Podcasts. I mean, literally everywhere. It's impossible to not see. So over <laughs> over a billion dollars that we're spending on marketing. Places, but I don't remember where I've seen many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm on it all the time. I literally can't escape it on my iPhone. Anytime I go on the news, it's in the middle of all my articles. Mm -hmm. 
So again, as of so far, keep in mind we have a billion dollar budget. So far, we've invested two hundred and forty million dollars. Right, that's three more times than the other of, three combined. Three times of our competitors. Right, and again, this is covering can everything. You why we can do this? We're profitable. We've been growing double digits for twenty years in a row. We're part of the S and P five hundred. We're part of the Nasdaq one hundred. Zillow is still not profitable. 20 years after the launch. That's because they buy all those properties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is something we will never do. We don't do eye buying. We don't do brokering. We don't sell mortgages. We don't have advertisement on our website for Mazdas. <laughs> we don't do any of that. We do yeah. one thing and one thing only. We promote agents. Yep. So your revenue is from subscribers? Do you do advertisement? Or how do you get your revenue? From you all. Yeah. You would be our clients. Uh -huh. What about our fees? What about your fees? What about it? How much is it? We will not take any of your fees. We don't take commissions. We yeah. never have in 40 years. We charge you a monthly fee, a subscription. To be a member. Very similar to LoopNet or CoStar. Or the MLS. Or the MLS, yeah. Or the MLS. But we're a for-profit company, so there's nothing <laughs> to hide that. And uh, as I said, we're profitable. Check out the stock. It's doing really well. So how much is the membership is based on your last two years of history. So this is going to factor in like how many listings you've done. So, for instance, some of the guys have large teams. They're probably a little bit more expensive than everybody else. Prices will range as low as 100 bucks. And we've seen some top agents come on board where they're paying a couple of thousand per month. Right. It's all depending on how active you are as an agent within the last three years. And it's because what we will do for you, which you will continue That's to do, including the retargeting we'll do on other websites and the amount of space that your listings and your prior transactions will take on our website. Yeah. Um, not to mention, we do own Matterport. So for every member agent, we come out and create 3D floor plans of the listing. So consumers can search your property um, virtually anytime, anywhere. And that's included in the membership. We just... Bought Matterport like two months ago. It actually hasn't closed yet, but obviously we have an agreement to do this. So every time you pick up a listing, your Matterport will be included for members. Mm -hmm. Not the full photo shoot, just the 3D virtual the floor 3D plan. Virtual floor, yeah. I'm assuming that's going to come out in package. You know. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we have about 148 million people searching on our network today. So we're literally the fastest growing website. It's because of, of course, our big marketing campaign and the fact that we're buying up Google Words and more importantly, the commercials, et cetera, which is really driving traffic. And I would say the experience, most people that search on homes.com like the experience and they tend to not go back to Zillow. Um, so that's how we're driving traffic there. So the math is simple, right? We have a better website. We have a better philosophy. And in turn, we have a massive audience, which will only benefit you, the agent, to get you more eyes and offers on your listings. All right. So as far as the membership benefits, right? As Ariana mentioned, everyone has an account, right? As a member, your listings will sort to the top. So whenever you have a listing, they're going to sort to the top. So out of, you know, 600 listings or however many they are, think about it. Consumers are not searching pages of listings, right? We put in our criteria. There are probably 200 results or maybe 100 or something, right? Your property is right at the top to be considered first. Not only that, right, you'll be at the top of our agent directory. So if a, if a consumer is researching agents in an area, you're right at the top. So how do you stand out amongst a thousand agents that's done a deal in South Bay or 2000 that's done a deal in South, South Bay, right? So we make sure you're at the top, you're branded well, so you can be considered. Anytime a consumer search the neighborhood or the school, a school zone, which is important for families, you're still branded in those areas. So you're branded in the communities and school zones where you work and operate. Not only that, when a consumer saves a search, I'm speaking faster than the example, but when a consumer saves a search and has alerts set up, we're going to make sure you're branded as agents that specialize in the area that they're looking, making sure, considering that you have a deal in that area, of course. Um, right, so for your rentals, how many people have rentals? 
So you automatically get those pushed out to apartments.com, Westside Rentals, and our full apartments network. No the charge, charge included within your membership. Mm -hmm. So we'll cover your listings for sale, and then we'll also cover the rentals and make sure those have placement on apartments.com. Um, right, so apartments.com has 50 million people searching for an apartment there. And then as far as the retargeting, so how does that work? When a consumer clicks on your profile or your listing and goes to CNN, ESPN, Fox, right, your brand is still there. So our job is to keep you on top of the minds of the consumers that have clicked on your listing or your profile, right? Any questions on that? Normally, okay, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Good, great. It's a, it's a very expensive type of marketing to do, yeah. right? Follow someone's ISP around the internet and then keep putting those ads back. Uh, but obviously, we 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 know how to do it because we've been doing it on the commercial side mm -hmm. for a while. So, three D floor plan. We're going to come out and create a three D floor plan for every single listing that you have for sale. Uh, yeah. This will allow consumers, as I mentioned, to just tour the property virtually, and it's almost like. You're there. So I look in Chicago to buy investment properties. This is great because I don't have to go there. I'm from there, but I can I know the area. So I can easily just tour and look out the window and see things as if I'm there. So just a quick comparison, right? A quick recap, right? So everyone has an account. The membership is all about branding and making sure you're relevant and creating more reach for you, right? All your listings are at the top. That's the Google effect. Just keep you at the top because people don't really click on multiple pages. So your listings are at the top, which will impress your sellers. Uh, you have priority placement when it comes to researching other agents. And then if, if folks search neighborhoods or school districts, which most people do, especially if you don't know the area, uh, you're branded as an expert in that area as well. So as long as you've done one deal, you're branded in those areas. Now, our competitors will probably sell you a zip code, but we're going to give you access we're going to pretty much give you placement wherever you've done one deal in the last five years. So as far as the reach, right, our members are reaching 78,000 prospects. I don't know who's here, who here is probably investing in like postcards and little mailers. I get those from time to time. I just think this is a much better investment for your money because you're reaching more people quickly, right? Non-members will probably reach just about a thousand prospects. As a member, right, 300% more listing shares, 20%, I mean, 87% more favorites. If you have a listing now, I would encourage you to look at your listing on Zillow, look at your views and shares, and then go to homes.com to look at your listings and your, your views and shares, right? I'm confident we would probably have more because we're actively investing into the platform. So all of this to say, members enjoy, right, hundreds of millions of buyers and sellers searching homes. Members stay on top of the mind of those consumers. Members sell their homes faster for more money. And now, members win 50% more listings. This is just, oh, this is good. I actually want to play this one. This is a focus group from an agent that's using homes.com, and she's just explaining how she uses our marketing solution to win listings. Basically, 
right? As a member, you have listings, they're gonna soar to the top. So we're not here to replace your prospecting effort. So whatever you do on the prospect, we encourage you to continue to do that, right? All we're saying is that if you're prospecting, you wanna at least tell people, well, go ahead, search in South Bay. I have the top listing. Go look at every other listing there and look at the activity. You can see that I have the top listing with the most activity. Then that seller becomes curious, like how? And then you get to incorporate our marketing solution in your listing pitch. And the other piece of the presentation was handouts. So as a member, we work with you on your listing presentations. We give you seller leave behind so you can leave behind materials. But our goal is to help you win more listings because that's the focus in this industry today. No questions. When looking for the listing and you're guiding someone, mm -hmm. whether they have a computer or on the phone, where exactly can they see how many viewings the house? On homes? Yeah. Uh, are you I'm on it now. Yeah, if you just scroll down, you should be able to see like your activity. Not all of it now. But where the normal activity right below your name. So right. Keep in mind you can set up a, a search for a client who's connected with you and then share that with them. So if they've told you what they're looking for, set up the search. When the new listings yeah. come, you will both get alerted. I would need to look this up. Yes. You guys can stay after uh, the team meeting too to answer yeah. additional yeah. questions too as well, right? Yeah. We'll do absolutely. Okay. Go ahead. Do you mean year? What are the uh, volume? Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. So the price could change in the yeah. future okay. based on how many listings you have and how many deals you've closed in the last five years. If you go up or down based on those scenarios. Yes. It's good for the term that you sign up for. We actually do it on six months or one year. If you have no listings uh -huh. and no deals in the past, yeah. you're probably looking at the lowest price point, which is about $100 per month. Okay. What I would suggest in that situation is you're not going to appear in any of your results. Yeah. What you need to do now is make sure the people you are talking to are connected with you on homes.com and searching here because that's the value that you're getting out of it, which is. Every listing has my name on it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, do you work with teams and how do you know teams? It's, it's, it's an agent to agent kind of so situation. It's not a team. Yeah. So, it, I mean, the entire team could sign up or one member from the team could sign up. Whoever you has the listings on huh? You couldn't promote a team. No. I mean, I've seen, I've seen, no, but I've seen yeah. people do all kinds of stuff, like take, put stuff in the bio or take a group picture and kind of promote themselves mm -hmm. as a team. A lot of team leads have the listings, I think, as a primary contact. So typically they would sign up and then just push out the leads to whoever's listing it is. I also notice because I use homes.com a lot that sometimes sometimes listings don't come up right away as quick as Zillow or Redfin. So when we see something that's coming sooner, just hit the market, we'll go to homes and we won't see it there, but we'll see it. Yeah. Are you guys doing something about that? That is news to me. Okay. So I, I would like to go research that. Um, and uh, I, I can have it follow up with you. But I have not heard that before, that we're smaller than the other two sites. So we're pulling from the NLS. So um, that's surprising. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Good. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's Thank give them a so round of Thank you so much. Thank you. Great information, right? You know, just another avenue in how you can tap into opportunities, right? You know, especially with uh, Zillow taking a lot, a lot of uh, market share. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Next, uh, we got our listing pitches and buyer needs. Listing pitches and buyer needs. Anyone? I know Champagne. She wanted a yeah, Eric. Uh, I have a lease in Hermosa Beach, two bed, one bath, uh, over on Manhattan Avenue in Pier, right by the beach for 4300. That's 950 square feet. Uh, and I have a duplex coming up in San Pedro on 15th Street, three bed, two bath, and two bed, one bath for around 100,000. Beautiful. Awesome. Anyone else? Chef Hayes. Yeah, two. Um, I'm sorry, it's her computer. Oh, uh, okay, uh, so you don't have to stand up. No. You can, yeah. Okay, so I have two listings. One is in um, uh, Van Nuys. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's super clean. Bring your um, 
cereal and milk and you can eat out of the toilet bowl. That's how you do it. You're never going to you're never going to forget that. Um, and it's available now. It's the lowest price property in all of the in the complex and in that neighborhood. It's, it's awesome. The second listing I have is in Torrance. It just went live last night. And technically, they've known this property to be a four bedroom, whatever reason. It says three bedrooms. So we're trying to do our due diligence to figure out what happened. Two baths. It's got a swimming pool. It's just under uh, 2,000 square feet. And over on the it, it's over on the southeast side of Torrance, just, just like really close to Sepulveda. And uh, I want to invite everyone to a Breakfast between, I know, uh, 11 and 12, but look at his dessert, okay? <laughs> and please breakfast. So anybody that wants a flyer, please um, get one from me. And um, that was a super steal because the other houses that are kind of this look are, are, are had sold for 1.4, but because the property needs some updating, we listed for uh, 1.249. So it's a really, really outstanding property, and I already got some interest of people calling. And then lastly, what I want to say, I'm not a politician, but when you go to vote, vote no on 33. If you know anything about what's going on with 30, how many people know what's going on with 33? You know, one, two. Okay, real quick. I just want to say, just real quick. So basically what they're doing is if there, if there was a, um, well, as you know, we have this rent control thing going on, right? And um, it went through and it's freaked everybody out in the apartment building world, right? So if you think the stuff hit the fan already, this is just going to make things matters worse. Because what they're proposing is that there's not enough housing for people that can afford it. But this, this particular proposition applies to houses and condos. And there was an initiative called uh, Corda, Corda Hawkins. Costa Hawkins, and um, any houses that were built before 1995 didn't really have this to deal with because it was kind of on a local scale. But now it's like, oh, they're wanting, they want to go after this. Well, you know, as you know, there's still investors out there and they're buying houses as well because they're doing uh, ADUs. So if you care about your business and forget about the fact that if, the, if you voted, your taxes are just going to go up because someone's got to manage the whole thing. But when you go out there and, and talk to your clients, make sure you tell each one what this is all about because they're going to vote just because they think they care about the people that don't have a place to live. And the reality is, if they don't have a place to live, there's other circumstances other than the housing. There, there are usually other, if you take that number, right? So just tell your clients to go out there and vote no, but tell them why, because it's really applying to houses and condos. And if they're looking to purchase a house and they work, or even a condo or rent out an ADU, this is going to affect them. Let's, let's, put that, let's put it aside for now. That's uh, it. So oh. if you want to vote or if you want to talk to Champagne after, that would be great. I just got to finish up with the team meeting and respect everyone's time. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. I have something. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Hey, Hi. It's it's got. Sorry, I'm not there. I'm working on on. Uh, I'm working on something. But um, me, Minnie, and Simon uh, had a conversation. I don't know if it was earlier this week or last week in regards to doing open houses. Uh, I expressed to the company that hey, we need to be doing more open houses. Open houses are very important. It's how I pretty much started my career. I'm really really excellent at doing them and so what we decided as a team we're going to come together and i'm going to host an open house class there at the office in the training room so give it a couple of weeks and look out for the announcement but i'm going to show you all the ins and outs of the open house it's not just standing there looking pretty but there is so much that you should be doing when you do an open house so look out for that to come through on the email and uh thanks many and thanks simon for helping us get that done Absolutely. Thanks, Katrina. Nikki. Um, we have two lease needs in North Redondo. Speak up a little louder for the Sorry. people on Zoom. Bedrooms or a three bedroom plus an office. Okay. Um, preferably over 1,700 square feet. 
Uh, North Redondo, it's really important. Oh, uh, under 6,500. Got it. Okay, awesome. Anyone else? Yes. I got a listing that just came live. All right. Today. Awesome. It's my first right. listing. Congratulations. So Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the best one to let everybody know it's a, it's a two on a lot in Manhattan Beach. Uh, it's a very big lot, a very huge house. It's detached, four bedrooms, three and a half bath. Uh, for 2.595 million. Wow. So it's a big ticket item, but I'm very excited um, to be listing. That's I'm, the I'm, awesome. the, I'm the owner. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anyone else? I know based on uh, Westchester, it is going to be coming up at uh, the beginning of next month. We're going to, uh, it's going to be the number vacant two units for 1.4 possible ADU in the garage. Fire to be the gentleman to be verified, of course. Sorry, I'm nervous. But anyway, um, yeah, so she is confirmed that we're already put in the market. So you can have a new buyer as well. Beautiful. Two, awesome. What, what are the two bedrooms? Um, it's well, call her. She has that info. Yeah. yeah. Reach out to her, please. Reach out to her. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All right. It is. I appreciate it. All right. Well, we have to uh, continue. We have a few more minutes before uh, one o'clock, so to respect your time. Fernando, if you can come up here, let's uh, give them a round of applause and give us some updates on the number of dates. Uh -huh. okay. Now, trying to be slim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I do have a, a, a quick one for you. Anyway, uh, quickly, guys, as you guys know, since the Fed made their cut, nothing really much has changed. Rates have remained fairly stable. The markets, I think, are waiting more economic needs to come forward, uh, like the uh, jobs report on Friday, and then we'll see what the Fed does. But right now, the, there's not a lot of activity, or I should say noise with the Fed, other than future cuts are coming. Um, the other thing, too, that's important, at least going, in, uh, going into the next year, even now we're still doing it with some of our investors, is the Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan limits are going up. From 766 and change at 802 or 803 to change for a single family. So that helps, obviously, especially with our prices. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because I will tell you right now, CAR just came out with their forecast for next year, and things look very good for us if this is, you know, to come into fruition, shall we say. So, for example, they're expecting a rise in sales. And this is only the single family homes, guys. So if you bulk in units, that would be a bigger number, but they're concentrating on SFRs, condos, and townhouses for the most part. And they're expecting a rise of 10.4%, excuse me, 10.5 uh, over this past year. So that's a tremendous amount more business for all of you guys out there. This is a, keep in mind, this is a state, as a state, you know, not, not locally, but that's a big, big push up. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the median price. Unfortunately, well, I think it's fortunately, but it's expected to go up 4.6%. They're expecting the median price in California next year to be 909.400. That is up from 869.5 this year and 814 back in 2023. So you guys can see the models of where, where things are going. Uh, and lastly, which I think is important, and obviously, you know, who knows who their soothsayer is on this, but <laughs> rates. Uh, they're predicting a rate in the fives next year for the most part, high fives, but that's a big, big <laughs> plus. Okay, because if, if conforming regular rates are in the high fives, government loans are going to be in the low fives. So that's a big, big awesome for her. And that's it. It's awesome. Good. Good. Thanks for that. So we got upcoming events. So next slide, please. Uh, here we go. Just a friendly reminder, we have Ignite tomorrow, making and receiving offers uh, with Brandon uh, being the uh, instructor for tomorrow. I will be teaching uh, session 18, the negotiations uh, next week. Next slide. Uh, and a friendly reminder, again, Thursday, October 24th, 5.30 at 8.30, we're going to have our Halloween party here. So please, please love to see you in your costumes. This is one of our biggest events other than our Christmas event. You know, it's one that you don't want to miss. Again, Thursday, October uh, 24th. Next slide. Uh, we have a free headshot event, okay, uh, sponsored by my NHD, Jose Lopez. So if you're interested in getting a free headshot, That'll be October 10th at uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It'll be here at the uh, office. Professional photographer, high-quality headshots, 
and uh, some, some light appetizers as well. So again, uh, mark your calendar for that event. Next slide. Uh, I'm super stoked and excited. If Jason Abram is, he's the uh, head of industry and learning at the uh, KW um, International. He's going to be on our producer's mindset. Okay. Very rare. And this is like, uh, kind of like a Gary Keller, you know, he's one of my favorite uh, uh, entrepreneurs and he is going to be uh, on the producer's mindset uh, on Friday, October 25th. And that's at eight o'clock. Okay. Eight, eight o'clock to eight 30. Okay. I'd love to uh, see it's been a big push to get the uh, region. So there's going to be a lot of people on this call. All right. He always brings some great nuggets to the uh, conversation. So mark your calendars. Next slide. All right. I have the uh, ethics. So by popular demand, this is similar to what Career Compass uh, provides. We're going to have it here at the office. The Code of Ethics and Standard of Practice, Thursday, November 7th. 1 30 to 4 30 okay so it's a three hour course you must be here physically or on zoom registered in order to uh, get your certificate to be in compliance with the nar with that being said you cannot be late and if you leave early you will not get your credit okay so we the uh, the office has put this together we're going to have a live instructor teaching the curriculum, the, the uh, uh, Code of Ethics, Article 17, Standard of Practice, uh, the uh, code, of, uh, code of Ethics versus the uh, DRE required ethics, and then the uh, three areas of the uh, NAR Code of Ethics and much, much more, okay? So if you're interested, please make sure you RSVP now, okay? Because it's gonna be packed house, all right? Again, Thursday, November 7th. So you got about a month uh, to register for this. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. I yeah. took it through career compass. If you took it, then you're okay. You don't have to. If you've already taken it in the past and you're in compliance, don't worry, you don't have to take it. But these are the ones that you don't have your compliance with NAR. Okay, next slide. All right, and that concludes our team meeting. Thank you very much. Appreciate you all. Have a great